Hello friends, welcome again. In this video I'm going to display the, the table here to the roles, the same thing to the permissions. And here we have, right now we have only the selected roles. So if I click here, we are in the permission, but the highlight that is the roles, we can fix that. And display the table with all the permissions we have, also the roles. For that, I'm going to use this uh, table from the tilewindui.com. This is the uh, free version. If you want more, you can uh, pay and see all the tables there. So I'm going to copy this one and inside the resources now in, in our project, views, admin, we have the roles here and the index. And the first thing I'm going to say here, I'm going to add the width pool here. Save and go to the browser. Refresh. In the roles, yeah, now we have the... And the same thing to the permission, but in here I'm going to paste the table. We copy, save, and uh, refresh. And then, yeah, here we have the table. And uh, I'm going to add it here, a padding of two, refresh, and yeah, we have some padding here. Okay, uh, now let's get all the roles and display here. In the roles, we need only the name. Because if I open the database, Okay, and we have the admin database here. So in the roles, we have only the name and the guard name, but we need only the name there. So let's uh, display only the name. And what we can do is come here and remove this. Not so I don't need this uh, role here. Save, open now the role. Sorry. Open the role controller. And in here I'm going to say dollar sign roles. Is going to be with the role models and get all the roles okay so make sure you import the role here and uh, paste it here so say compact and add the roles with that now we have the roles in here and I'm going to say for each dollar sign roles as the role and uh, to remove and leave only one paste it here okay and here we need the role name So just say here dollar sign role name. Right now hit save. Come here and refresh. 
and yeah we have three rows here now so we need to add the button to edit and delete them so let's add another td and here for example we need to add a link to delete anchor tag want to edit and want to delete so copy and paste and say here delete save come here and refresh and yeah here we are but the same thing i'm going to do for the permission we don't have any permission but uh, let's select all copy and uh, what why we don't have the indented so let's uh, no okay i am going to indent this uh, thing here so save and select all copy and go to the permission and select all here and paste that in just we don't need to say roles here but uh, permission so select all that and say permission and also open the permission uh, controller and get all the permissions so to assign permissions is going to be permissions import that permission here and get all okay paste that in so compact and permissions hit save from here and refresh go to the permission and we don't have any permissions yet so what we need to do also we need to fix this uh, and we need to add the button to go and create the roles or the permissions so let's close this first close this one and i think it's better if i zoom it out okay now after this one I'm going to add another div here, div with a class flex and uh, justify and and here add an anchor tag with a shref to go to the rows create but right now I'm going to leave it empty and say create save come here and refresh we are in the permissions so yeah here we have that button but we need to add some classes so px4 and py2 bg uh, green 700 on hover to be bg green 500 is going to be rounded uh, md and uh, i think we're okay so if i save come here and refresh yeah and maybe add some uh, padding here And I think we are okay. So here we have create. The same thing I'm going to do for the roles. So copy, go to the roles, and come here, paste that in, save, refresh, go to the roles, and here we have the role. And that create 
or maybe create a role and the same thing here create permission it's save refresh and yeah now it's more okay and that's it for this video friends in the next video we are going to uh, create the role and also create the permission hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best